Hello, this is Dawn from minimallyfancy.com. Today I'm going to open an envelope or unbox, but it's not really a box, from sweetstampshop.com. They just had a release and they had some cute cowboy and cowgirl themed stuff. And we are from Texas, so I had to splurge a little and get it. So, got here in two days. Always impressed with the shipping. Time to open it. Oh, I got a little freebie. happy day that's cute I haven't ordered in a while and I forgot that they sent out freebies so I'm just going to try it right now oh how cute Any press is good press. So, here was the freebie that came with the bundle. It's a bear. No, it's a deer. It's called Deer Folk Love. Here is a stamp set aptly named Tequila. It's cute. I'm not a tequila drinker, but we can use these lemons and salt and other things. I'm sure I find a use for. I don't drink bourbon either, but I do drink wine. I have some wine stamps that would go great with this barrel right here. This one is called Bourbon. It says, good girls are made of sugar and spice. How funny. Cowgirls are made of whiskey on ice. Step side. This is a job for Bourbon. Oh, here's, let's read these. It says, don't be a chaser. You're the tequila, not the lime. One tequila, two tequila, three tequila, four. The Amo or Tequila. Cute. This one's cute. It's a little lemonade set. It's called Pucker Up. This one I really liked because I had a truck. My truck. I drove it for many years before and after I got married. So I'm definitely interested in this one cowgirl. My daughter, once upon a time, let me dress her as a cowgirl. She has long hair. Silly boys, trucks are for girls. Mother trucker. Little play on words. I got a bouquet of flowers. No oh, whiskey in the teacup. Ah, <gasps> fireflies. Strawberries. Oh, my son used to say strawberries when he was little. Oh, it's a cute pie. Life is tough, darling, but so are you. I need that today. Oh, this one is called... What's it called? Country Life. And the last stamp set in the set is called Cowgirl. That's really cute. It's got boots and a hat. I like my man like my tea, strong and sweet. My man is exactly like that. Wide open spaces, extra leaves, this cute tire with the cowgirl in it. Bless your heart. That's probably, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, don't flatter yourself, cowboy. I was staring at your truck. That's right. 
camera charger. That's funny. So, I have a little bit of time. Maybe I can color in with some pencils. Give me just a second. Okay, I'm going to color this since it's not too intricate. I don't have a lot of time. And I'm going to use this Sticker Project Paper by Avery. I've had it for about five years. Um, I'm just going to use it. It's not very good for coloring. Sometimes it peels. But I'm going to use it up. I'm not going to let it go to waste. Here it comes, my son. These are stamping blocks. These are acrylic stamps, in case you haven't seen them before. You take them off the backer sheet. It's got a flat side and a raised side. See, it's got the raised here, and this is flat. You stick the flat side down. So if you see my other videos, I take some stickiness off of the chalk couture transfers, and I'm going to take some stickiness off of that too, so the ink would here. I'm using this Ink on 3 Blackout Specialty Hybrid Detail Ink from inkon3.com. This is my first time doing this on camera. A little nervous. And if it doesn't come out right, then I'm just going to uh, put music over the top. There's my son. Okay, then I have wipies nearby. Sorry for the glare. Still learning. Learning curve. And I'll wipe it off. And I'll put it back on the backer sheet later. I think I'm going to use markers right now. These are Spectrum Noir markers. Change color here. Maybe I'll just do one shade. This color is TN4. I'm still learning how to do coloring, but I've been practicing a lot lately. And a tip I got from a prolific colorer was with alcohol markers, you can just color and then go back over with the same shade and it will give you some definition. So we're going to try that. Sometimes I'm a great colorer, sometimes I'm not, or the colorist, I don't know. So I'm just going to go along the edges here, layer up on the color, give it some shading and dimension. Maybe I'll do it like this. If I get out of the lines a little bit, that's fine because I'm going to cut it out. Cut it out. Just trying to blend that in a little bit more. And maybe I'll just, oh, that should be black probably. Or dark. Gray. This is IG8. I always just test the colors on the side a little bit. I'm going to go dark for the inside of this. Then I'm going to look for a lighter gray. You do the metal parts. Not too light. I want it lighter. That was IG5, gonna try IG, no, that was IG6, I'm gonna go IG5. Hmm, still a little dark. There, 
there's my husband, IG4. Let me see if I can color real quick. Call from Bernie. Let's get into the bus stop. Call from Bernie. Tell him she's making a video, Mom. Dad, Mom's making a video. Animal shading, because I gotta go. Ta da! And then I'll cut it out. It on camera. If you're going to make a card or put it in your planner, it's best to do it on a separate sheet of paper because, as you can see, the color does go through. So here's the barrel from the bourbon set, mediocre coloring at best, still working on it, still learning, but giving it a little bit every day. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.